Drone Laws in South Africa. This is a May 2023 update. On 9 January 2020, I published a video called Private Drone Use in South Africa, in which I explained some of the laws as it pertains to the use of drones for the hobbyist and what the restrictions are. In this updated video, I want to give you updated information and expand where possible. To start off with, I am not associated with the South African Civil Aviation Authority, the CAA, in any way. I am not employed, sponsored, or affiliated with the CAA, or any company which uses drones. The information I provide is from what I understand, and I may be corrected. The information is correct as of May 2023, and may have changed by the time you watch this video. I am not a member of any law enforcement agency or security services company, and I am presenting this information in this video as a friendly member of the public who simply wishes to inform others. Please do not attack me if you feel that the laws are unfair, ridiculous, or do not make sense. That being said, let us begin at the beginning. There are two types of people who buy a drone. The hobbyist and the person who wants to make some money on the side or even a full-time business from drone photos and or video. The way you use your drone is going to determine what you need to do in order to comply with the South African CAA law. Let me address the hobbyist flyer first and where you are allowed to fly and what is required. As a hobby flyer, you do not need any kind of license or permit as a pilot of uh, the drone, referred to as a remotely piloted aircraft system by the CAA, or RPAS. Before every flight, carefully inspect your drone, especially the edges of the props, and uh, uh, that the props are correctly and securely mounted. Purely safety. Check your battery, that it is securely fitted to the drone. Safety. You are allowed to fly on any property where the owner of the property has given you permission and where that property is further than 10 kilometers from an airport, a heliport or airstrip. You need to stay 50 meters away from houses or other properties, uh, also people and roads. And you need to keep your maximum height to under 50 meters and within visual line of sight, and no further than 500 meters, even if you can see further than 500 meters, which I doubt. The drone may only be used for your personal private purposes where there is no commercial outcome, interest, or gain. You may fly any time during the day when the weather is clear. Now for the part no one likes the things you may not do as a hobby drone operator. You may not fly during heavy weather or at night. You may not fly your drone near manned aircraft and you may not fly your drone 10 kilometers or closer to an aerodrome, that's an airport, helipad or airfield. You may not fly your drone in controlled, restricted or prohibited airspace. You may not fly your drone adjacent to or above a nuclear power plant, for obvious reasons, or a prison, or a police station, or a crime scene, or a court of law, or a national key point or strategic installation, whatever those may be. You may not fly closer than 50 meter to any other person's property where you do not have permission to fly. This means you cannot fly in any residential area. You may not fly closer than 50 meters to any public road. You may not fly closer than 50 meters to a person or group of persons, such as at a sports field, road races, stadiums, schools, social events, weddings, etc. Any group of people. You may not fly higher than 50 meters from the ground. 
I know there are people who say 120 meters or 400 feet, but they are wrong. The limit in South Africa is 50 meters for RB flyers. You may not use your drone to deliver bait for fishing, unfortunately. I know bait droppers are sold, but using them is against the law. You may not donate your drone footage or photos to anyone for their use in advertising or promotion. You may not fly in any area where municipal bylaws also prohibit the use of drones, or in national parks which prohibit the use of drones. Stay out of no drone zones. I'll post a link to a map where you can find these no drone zones in the description of this video. These laws are not my laws. So do not get upset with me. <laughs> I'm just delivering the bad news. So now you may ask, but who's going to catch me? Law enforcement of drone laws are up to the SAPS. Take that information for what it is. Wink. So how hard is it to get licensed? There are a couple of scam artists out there who will actually try to convince you that all you need is a RPL, the Remote Pilot License. Or that once you have a RPL, you can just operate under another company's ROC. That's the Remote Operator Certificate. This can get you into serious trouble, or the ROC holder into trouble. If you are made such an offer, contact the SACAA on 0860-267-435 for clarification before you sign in any deals or fly under someone else's ROC. Don't get caught. What is needed for full commercial licensing? This process is kind of complex and will require actually a completely different video. But in short, to become fully licensed as a commercial drone operator, you need the following license, licenses and permits. Firstly, you need an ASL, that's your Air Services License, except for corporate operations and non-profits. You need an ROC, that's your RPAS Operator Certificate. You need an RLA, that's your RPAS Letter of appro Approval. You need an RPL, Remote Pilot License, for every pilot under the ROC. And then you need a Certificate of Registration and you need to employ a RMT, which is your RPAS maintenance technician, where you have RPAS which are classified as class three or higher. This entire licensing set is quite complex and you need to contact the CAA for more information. Part 101 is applicable to drones or RPAS as it's referred to by the CAA, which are operated for the purpose of commercial operations, corporate operations, non-profit operations, and private operations. But the following are excluded from part 101. Autonomous unmanned aircraft, unmanned free balloons, uh, aircraft operated in terms of part 94, and model aircraft and toy aircraft. I hope that you found this video informative and will appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.